this is Kylie from Hello Crafter and today I'm going to show you how I made this card using the butterfly punch and some watercolour paper and some marker pens and a technique that I really love to do called smooshing. This card features the butterfly duet punch from Stampin' Up. This is still available but only until the 3rd of May as it's retiring. It is an absolute staple in my craft room. I've had it for years and I use it all the time. There is actually a stamp set which coordinates with this punch called the Butterfly Gala and so you can stamp out your butterflies and then punch them out with the punch. Um, it has some lovely sentiments on it so this is a really well used stamp set of mine. Um, it's also retiring and it's also on sale so this stamp set is only £12 at the moment. So both the stamp set and the punch work equally well on their own or together. So this punch though I use a lot without the stamp set because you can punch out your butterflies from coloured cardstock, pretty papers, and the glimmer card, I, I use quite a lot with this punch. So again, it is such a useful punch. So when you get your punches, they come closed, flat like this for easy storage, um, turn them over and you use this locking slidey thing to <laughs> unlock and open the punch. Um, and then when you come to store it, you push the punch closed and slide that lock down to keep it closed. So slide it up to open and then if you grab a piece of card stock, I've got some watercolour card here. Um, it's quite a thick card this so it will be a little bit stiffer than with normal paper or normal card. So I do always use my, both hands to punch out and you could always put your punch down on your table and slide your card in and then line it up and then use both hands to punch down if that's easier for you um, but you do have to be careful that it doesn't move about so once you've got all your butterflies punched the other materials you need to make the card are we've got a very vanilla card base just a plain card base and another piece of watercolor card for the background and this measures 10 centimeters by 14.3 then we're going to need our water brushes. Um, they come in packs of three, these ones from Stampin' Up. They're really excellent ones. I'm going to use this wide brush tip one because uh, we're going to be just using it to add water to our card. If you don't have a water painter, then use a paintbrush with a little pot of water. That will work fine too. And I've got a cellophane bag here. And I'm just going to use this to put some ink down um, and use it to do my smooshing effect. And I also have a bit of kitchen roll here just to protect my desk and to mop up any excess water. And also I am gonna be using my Stamp Right markers. These are water-based marker pens. This technique doesn't work with alcohol markers. So you want to grab some of your water-based ones or um, washable felt tips should work get some nice bright colors of felt tips that should work these are actually brand new I've never used these they came a few days ago and this is a bit of a sneak peek of the new in colors in the new catalog so you can see we've got some lovely greens really soft greens here and this one is called Pale Papaya, a lovely peachy, soft peachy colour. There's a quite a nice pink. It's sort of, it's not pastel and it's not bright. It's in between. It's a lovely colour. And then this gorgeous purple, this fresh freesia. So I'm going to use three of these colours on my card today. And what I need to do is just make sure I've got everything ready. I'm going to just colour using the wider tip you've got the thin tip and the wide tip the brush tip and i'm just going to color in the bag just get some color on that bag because that's what i'm going to be using to get the color transferred onto my um my background so let's see if this works so I've coloured in my bag, I've got some colour on there and then I'm going to take my water painter 
or you just use your paintbrush and some water. I'm just going to paint some water directly onto that sheet. Just in the middle, just like a, like a, not right to the edges. I'm just going to put water where I'm going to want colour. And then, so there's plenty on, you can see that, plenty of water on. I'm going to flip that over straight onto where I've coloured my bag and then smoosh it around with my finger. And that watercolour card will pick up that colour. So you can see you've got some nice colour on that background now. And I've got some bits still on my bag, some inky bits with water. I can paint a little bit of water on my butterflies just to help it pick up that colour. And let's just pop that in the colour and pick the rest of that up. Let's see what they look like. After I've smooshed it around a bit. So it's quite subtle, but I can always go in with my paintbrush and get a bit more colour on if I want to. So lay those down just to dry out the way. I can wipe off my bag onto my kitchen roll and get even more colour on if I want to. So get a bit more, that purple's quite soft. So I'm going to get a little bit more purple on. On my butterfly. I'm wetting the, the watercolour paper first just to help the colour spread. And let's get another peachy one, pale papaya. Just, I can clean my brush off on this, squeezing the water out, get a bit of water on there and smoosh it in. Like that. And let's get another pink one. Kind of using my bag as like a palette, a paint palette. So I have to leave everything to dry before I glue anything. So I'm going to just leave those and come back when they are dry. So everything's dry now. And if you want to add a sentiment to this, you could do that at this stage. So I have chosen a lovely one from this beautiful friendship stamp set, Birthdays are the Best Days. And I'm going to mount it on my block. I'm actually going to use the same pens as I've just used for my background and I'm going to get the colour straight onto my stamp and with your pen at a slightly flat angle just colour on the stamp. I'm going to do a bit of a three tone effect on here. And then I'm just gonna breathe on this just to re-moisten this ink and then stamp that down. There you go. And then I can just arrange my butterflies around it on my card. So I'll stick this background down onto my card base first of all. So just fold that in half. Use a bone folder if you want to just to get that fold nice and crisp. And then glue that down. If you find that this watercolour paper has warped a little bit when it's dried, you can always stick it under some heavy books for a few hours just to flatten it down that will work I'll just stick that down now I can arrange my butterflies so you can add these with foam pads or with normal glue I like to put glue just in the center of the butterfly so that I could lift the wings up to make my card a bit more 3d so just bend the butterfly a little bit 
put glue just in the center and stick them down. Move that down a little bit. Whoops. Here are some other examples I've done with different colour schemes. So we've got blues and turquoises and purples on this one, and green, pink and yellow on this one. So have a play around with your favourite colours. This one I did last year actually, and this was with a bit of a more, more of a rainbow scheme. Um, I've also done some splats of ink with my brush as well, so just splattered it on to add a little extra effect on that one. And these ones I did also last year. This one's fallen apart a little bit. I've got to find my butterflies and get them stuck back on. Um, but I did a lovely spring wreath with the butterfly punch, watercolor paper and inks, just in the same way. And another little home decor decoration there um, with a little paper banner. If you would like to have any more information about the, the butterfly punch, or you'd like to place an order in my shop, just contact me and I'm happy to help you do that. Okay, thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.